<clears throat> Hello, it's H9. Today I'm gonna show you how to build Clervo for disruption and how to level him up AFK in 5 minutes. I will show you tips and tricks that no other YouTuber has ever told you, so stick around. Passive and abilities. For his passive, he grants 75% heavy attack efficiency and 100% heavy attack windup speed. His first ability, Wrathful Advance, grants you flat additive critical chance after mods. Tapping the ability will teleport you to an enemy doing a heavy attack to deal a lot of damage. Holding down the ability will make you teleport to your aim which is really useful for movement. The second ability recompense. If you hit enemies with your knives you get overguard. If you miss them you get damage. If you have overguard you are immune to status effects and stagger. So you don't need prime sure footed. For his third ability, Collective Curse. It basically no! redirects any damage that any person took to everyone else binded by the curse. Basically, no, God, it's please, marked no! for death, but better as it scales with numbers and does crazy damage with AoE weapons. For the fourth ability, Storm of Echo. Basically Stop. makes Rain of daggers that do slash damage, which scales really well against high level armored units, and you can increase its damage using a primer which evaporates even high level enemies. Tenet Lovia acquisition and build. For its acquisition, you need to visit the Purain sequence. You will see all the Tenet weapons here sold from this guy. Now for this time we want the Tenet Livia, so try to get one. Now preferably try to get Heat or Toxin one, as they can get you a little bit of extra damage. Now you need Hollow Keys, go to Railjack, Fisher Missions. I believe the best one is um, the high level ones, as you get 10 per mission if you're lucky, but I'm not sure. So maybe look up a uh, farm. There are two builds for the Tenet Lovia. Now the difference in damage nice. is irrelevant, but the one without crit mods will do bad damage without the first ability. However, the build doesn't require a number forma if it's on a non Tenet melee weapon, so keep that in mind. None of them require a number forma if you are not buying a ribbon or using a primed mod as a replacement. Now I picked the Tenet Lovia over other melees because it's strong damage and it's a Tenet weapon. It stores the melee combo while holstered. Typically this perk is horrible for stat sticks but it's just perfect for heavy attack combo builds. I don't have to run Naramon which gives you the freedom to run Zenric, Madurai, Oniru for armor strip. Vazarin for protective sling which makes you invincible. Epitath is the best primer in the game. The build changed after the recent buffs to Puncture and Cold Prox. We replaced Karnas Stinger with Juggalus Spines. You can also replace Secondary Dexterity with Secondary Encumber. In total we have 7 status effects. To buff condition overload and galvanized aptitude. We have viral for damage, radiation for crowd control, cold for crit damage and crowd control, puncture for crit chance, and other status effects that I don't need to mention. Colorvo for disruption. We have two builds for Colorvo. This one is the one I used in the footage. Now I know that adaption doesn't work on overguard. The reason I have Umbra Vitality and adaption is so that I don't die instantly as soon as I run out of overguard. With all the strength mods and Molt Augmented, we reach the 6th tier crit for the first ability. We just have enough range for the second ability and for the fourth ability to collect combo. For the second build, we removed 
umbra vitality and adaption for muzzle flash and duration this will blind the enemies every six kills for 10 seconds for more crowd control alongside the epitaph to make it easier to live when reaching level cap now i'd recommend replacing arcane fury with arcane energize on both builds if you are not running on a squad as the energy will be slightly behind your consumption glorvo archon shard i'll highly recommend amber archon shard if you will run solo or will not use arcane energize or will not use Zenric. So one or two effectiveness on energy ore. Now for the rest of the slots, I'd recommend two melee critical damage shards and possibly ability strength or ability duration shards. For the helmets, I will recommend eclipse, roar, silence, and shooting gallery. With Colorbo's high base health, you can actually bring your Samita Kavat to gain double Steel Essence. Now, this is your Samita Kavat build. It's important to put Charm as the left top position to have the highest ability priority by the pit, as ability priorities are determined by rows left to right. Colorvo versus Acolytes. You don't need to bring another weapon to kill Acolytes as the melee and first ability will do it for you. As you can see, you can kill the Acolyte pretty quickly. Open the door. Open the door. My friend, open the door. <laughs> yeah, boy. Colorbo secret tips and tricks. Are you aware that you are wasting combo by pressing the first ability again to perform a second heavy attack? If you press a heavy attack, after hitting the ability, the second heavy attack doesn't use up combo, and this applies to nearly all melees except for the CM and a few others. Now this one isn't really a tip, but it's just to have fun, mostly, and to look cool while killing the demos. Now it is helpful to dodge the demolist bubble by rolling forward or backwards. Here is how to level up Clarbo in 5 minutes to 8 minutes, 10 minutes, whatever it is. You can basically watch a movie while leveling up all his formas. You just need Zenray and the build I show you and just run this till you're maxed. How long this will take will depend if you have a booster or a blessing. This is more relaxing than Grama carpet bombing uh, level up strategy. However, keep in mind that you will have to stay 5 minutes in order to exit with all of your XP. This has been the most frame I enjoyed in a while and I highly recommend that you try building him and playing with him, especially in disruption. You will not be disappointed. If you don't support the channel, the monster under the bed will eat you at night.